Hello everyone. Um, thank you so much for having us. My name is Ryan. I'm the marketing director at Exchange Union, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about ourselves today. So at Exchange Union, we're focused on connecting digital asset exchanges. And in order to properly explain what we mean by that and why we're doing it, it's best that we first take a look at the current blockchain infrastructure. So just about any trader or investor who has looked into cryptocurrencies or digital assets has noticed this one common reoccurring theme. And that is that the digital asset market lacks liquidity. You see it everywhere on every exchange and it impacts the market in an unhealthy way. Uh, small groups of traders or wealthy individuals, what we sometimes call whales, can have a massive impact on price action. So they can create selling pressure, sometimes when that's not even their intention. And it's not just with Bitcoin or Ethereum, but just about every coin or token out there. In fact, the lower we go in terms of market cap, the worse the situation naturally gets. And it's often the consequences from this lack of liquidity, which turn people away from our industry and digital assets altogether. So why does the market lack liquidity? Let's take a look at the current ecosystem. At the moment, we have over 1,500 different kinds of digital assets, over 100 digital asset exchanges, and millions of traders, merchants, and investors all around the world. Now looking at this graphic, you might think, well, with so many resources and so many exchanges, the market should be a pretty robust and established environment by now, with plenty of liquidity and infrastructure. But unfortunately, as we know, that's not really yet the case. And it's our argument that the ecosystem lacks liquidity because it lacks the needed infrastructure. So we've identified some of the pain points that we see in the industry today. Exchanges, as I mentioned, um, they lack liquidity. That's obvious, but it goes beyond that. Due to various geopolitical and geographical reasons, they struggle to reach an international user base. So they're often isolated and localized, restricting their reach. They're often limited in the number of trading pairs that they can offer. On the other end of the spectrum, we see the same core issues providing a different set of issues um, for the users or the traders. Um, so they suffer from real-time price discrepancy. They're not always going to get the best market price. Um, to get benefits like more liquidity or more trading pairs, they have to register at multiple exchanges around the world, and that can be a hassle with different KYC regulations. And if they've done that and they've been successful to register at multiple exchanges, they have to send their tokens back and forth in an inefficient and costly process. And I know a lot of traders can relate to these frustrations. The liquidity in the market is just simply isolated. And so that's where Exchange Union comes in. It's our mission to improve the liquidity mechanics across the board and to mature the ecosystem by building the much needed infrastructure. We're creating the first decentralized network which enables instant and trustless trades between digital asset exchanges. And those three words are important. Decentralized, instant, and trustless. They represent three key technologies that we're using. Those being decentralized order books, uh, payment channels, and atomic swaps. So decentralized order books allow us to plug into exchanges all around the world and share liquidity. We're matching buyers and sellers who otherwise would have been stuck with the localized market on their isolated exchange. When we say payment channels, we're talking about the Lightning Network on Bitcoin and the Raiden Network on Ethereum. So these are layer two protocols operating on top of layer one, their original blockchain. Payment channels give us instant transactions. And lastly, atomic swaps allow for the transaction to occur, to occur between two parties uh, securely. So no trust is required between the exchanges or the end users. They also allow for the transaction to occur across two different blockchains blockchains which otherwise wouldn't be able to interact. So through the use of hash time locked contracts, atomic swaps give us trustless trades. And all of this will happen on what we call the Exchange Union Daemon, or XUD for short. These are nodes which are hosted by each exchange in the network, communicating in real time, sharing order book information, matching buyers and sellers from around the world. And right now we're currently building the software to the XUD node. So let's take a look at what this might look like in this diagram. We have a sample trade here. Exchange A on the left has Litecoin or LTC. Exchange B on the right has Ethereum Classic or ETC. And the first step of this trade executing is the global order book. So they're sharing the same decentralized order book information. The second step to this trade is the payment channels that we see open between the two exchanges and the atomic swap occurring in the middle, allowing for these trades to be instant and trustless at the same time. 
Now at this point you might think, well, why would an exchange want to join this network and potentially lose trading volume to their competitors? Well, we asked ourselves the same question and designed the platform to benefit everyone involved. Exchanges won't lose out on any fees, even if their coins are sold to users on another platform. In fact, they're going to be rewarded. And this is due to the XUC token. We've designed a unique incentive and reward system which will benefit every single participant in the network. So for various functions seen on screen, uh, we'll be either incentivized or rewarded in some fashion. For market makers, or for those who provide liquidity in the trade. For exchanges and users who join our network. For traders who achieve certain trading volumes. For developers who review, test, and audit the code. For running an XUD node. Uh, for providing payment channel watchtower services or order book forwarding and validating. The list goes on. And so the combination of the XUD node and the XUC token are going to bring a handful of benefits to the ecosystem. Exchanges are going to see a larger user base, increase revenue and earnings, increase liquidity of course, and they'll have access to a robust, decentralized trading infrastructure. Users on the other hand are going to see tighter spreads, better market prices, more trading pairs, and they can do it all from the exchange of their choice. And that's huge. Another highlight to this project is that we are open source. So we want the world's best developers in the community to help us make this happen. And we're paying an XUC for open source code contributions. We think that's the best way for this project to be successful. Code contributions from the community are going to add value to both our project and the token. And so for any developers in the room, or anyone who might be watching this online later, we are also hiring some key full-time positions that we need. Uh, we have the opportunity right now to build this infrastructure for the ecosystem um, and benefit everybody as a whole. So to be crystal clear, we are not an exchange, nor are we operating on any one particular blockchain. We're an exchange technology, a back-end protocol, in which exchanges around the world can tap into by running a node with our software and have access to a global pool of liquidity instantly, securely, and across multiple assets and blockchains. Uh, one of the buzzwords in the industry right now is DEX, and that means decentralized exchange. Um, there are many different projects out there with this approach, with different creative solutions. However, we think that decentralized exchanges are only going to satisfy a niche market for the tech-savvy crypto users. Um, and that the vast majority of traders are still going to be on their centralized exchange. So we see an environment where both decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges are going to coexist. Um, there's not going to be one clear winner because the market simply has different users with different needs. And so our approach is unique. We're combining three of the most cutting edge blockchain technologies into a platform um, by, to help mature the ecosystem and build this infrastructure by connecting digital asset exchanges and combining liquidity. And so, because I'm a race fan and because we're about an hour north of the Australian Formula One circuit, I'll close with this line I found, uh, which sums up today's infrastructure. So the Bitcoin supercar, the Formula One of finance, is riding along on the muddy roads of 1970s mainframe-based banking. And it's a bumpy road. At Exchange Union, we're excited to be the ones who help pave that bumpy road. Thank you very much. Ryan Toma from Exchange Union, very nicely done. All right.